After the nose, you see that the next part is the left and the right intake. They consist of equally two parts. So these parts are going to be joined left and right. First thing uh, we do is make sure that they fit very well. You see they have a perfect fit. So we glue those two parts, which are going to be joined later to the left and to the right half. Hi guys, uh, we're going to continue today with the build of the race knot, which means we are going to separate all these uh, plywood parts from uh, the supplied parts we got from the kit. All parts are taken out from the plywood. On the left top you see the wing spars which are going to be in between one of these foam segments. On the right side you see the spar where you uh, will mount your EDF tool which means these little four parts are going to go in here and will be Will be the one which hold the fan in place you see also that there's a little notch in there where the fan fits perfectly inside so that's how it's going to be built there is also a second spar which means the fuselage is separated on the end which means the access to the edf is super easy i'm also going to clean away that little uh, scrap stuff which is around the spars uh, from the milling machine so to get a clean surface and where this villa going through the wood there are always little uh, dents standing out and so i'm going to clean that too with sanding paper 100 grit or something like that So all wood parts are cleaned. You see that there is no excess wood around the spars anymore. As tools we use a straight sanding block. In my case it's a marble block where I put some sandpaper there. I also used uh, the Dremel before to clean the inside of the spars uh, where this excess wood was there. You also see that there are already the mounts for the EDF prepared. So this is like it comes out of the spar or of the template. 
and here is it how you put them together and they are going to be assembled and uh, inserted in this uh, spar of this inside mount uh, where the EDF uh, is going to be mounted. This is uh, how the assembled spar looks. Uh, you can use uh, SAP CA uh, to glue it together. Uh, as I said, there are like six parts which you need to join. There are four parts which needs to be assembled on the fan mount, which are going to be glued. There is also a front and the back side. You see a little notch uh, here where you uh, can install the mini fan for the 70 millimeters. So you see the notch there where you can insert it and has a nice fit. Hi guys, uh, back to the build. Uh, we're going to finish up the nose part now with the first segment of the intake. That was pretty much the last thing I showed in the uh, last video, which is there is the first intake part which exists out of two, which means that outer part is glued to the inner part and that's going to be aligned to the left and uh, to the right nose. parts which separate the fuselage which means we have a front and we have a back part so um, there are m3 screws used like 20 millimeters which go from the one spar to the other one through and then we use uh, collars which means the collars are m3 also with a little screw so you have the chance to um, separate the fuse when you need to uh, access your EDF in the back. It's a very nice solution. I really like it and I'm going to show you some details. We're also going to uh, locate the rest of the fuselage which means the last five parts which are very important because the last five parts are the parts which are separated for the front to access the EDF. Make sure uh, that you put them in the right place uh, because here you see the little notch as I described before. So this is the back side of the spar which is going to be glued uh, on the front part of the nose and the upper wood part goes to the back where the five segments are uh, glued to because then you can take or you get a better idea about it that you see that if these uh, EDF mounts are there left to right it's uh, logical that this is the front part where the EDF is mounted to the front part of the fuse and this is the back side where the five segments are separated to access the EDF which means you can fasten that back part of the fuselage. I also located uh, the back five parts as you can see here left to right there so take a close look. The upper sheet is the one which has the five segments which is the back of the fuselage and the other one uh, belongs to the front of the fuselage you see also that here are a little dents here when i press the spar on it to uh, take a little sanding tools uh, to make little holes to make the screws fit So coming back to the assembling, uh, we are going to assemble this uh, foam part here. That's the last part of the front section of the fuse and uh, we already spoke about this spar. So these uh, screws are mounted through that spars. Here are the notches into that styrofoam, which means we are going to glue these spars with epoxy to the wood and then the uh, 
wood part will be also epoxied uh, to this segment. Why? Because this one is a very important part, so it needs to be glued properly. So I'm Also, which fan you're using, you see that I marked uh, the inner shroud, which means the inside of the shroud, depending on which fan you use, it could be that you need to sand that a little bit to shape, which means to have a smooth air transition through the inside of the EDF shroud. So I was using the 5 mm epoxy and I was using the second spar uh, just to make sure that the uh, uh, screws are straight. So I put a little bit more of epoxy glue also on the screws as you can see where the little uh, holes were on the part of this foam slice inside. So it's nice and straight and now we'll let it dry for a couple of minutes. As I said before, make sure that you mark your uh, EDF shroud inside. So later on, we're going to sand this a little bit to shape to have a straight and nice airflow. So while uh, the fan spar is drying, I take these five parts out and uh, yeah, extract it from that foam board. <music> Extracted that five parts uh, from this uh, backside of the fuselage, and now we're going to uh, glue them together as always with this hoopoir, which means we're going to apply it on the left and the right, leave it for one minute, and then press it together again. <music> test fit of the parts you see that they are really they align really very nice and yeah that's the back side of the fuselage five parts of the race nut so yeah we're going to join the last five of these foam parts and then continue to join the back side of the fuselage to the front where there is a wooden plate in between two spars which are uh, screw to each other with some screws and uh, collars I already showed before, so we continue. <music>
also take care that uh, the thrust tube uh, aligns inside so you better make sure that the thrust tube inside aligns and if you have a little you know gaps outside or if there is the surface a little higher from one to the other segment it's super easy to sand with a 100 or 120 grit so make sure that the inside is smooth Five parts finished now. I'm going to let it dry.